this is John. Today we're going to talk about our four corners game, uh, which is going to, to address the issue of discrimination. Um, this is our roadmap today. First, I'll talk about the objectives, and then I'll talk about the reason why I chose this game. And then Jordan will going to just show you how it is played. Um, this is um, our game is introductory games. Um, going to address the issue of discrimination and at the various students face, and also we're going to talk about their personal beliefs about discrimination. Specifically, we have three objectives. The first one is about the frequency of discrimination in school setting, and the second one is the personal beliefs about this issue, and the first one is the reason why they have these stereotypes. And our, why we chose this game? Because we're now we're living in a multicultural society, and we have meet people from different culture and religious background. Our game is engaging, fun, and also interesting and helpful for students to help to build their good awareness. And then Jordan will introduce you how it is played. So the game needs to be played within a large area, specifically a hall or a field, so an outdoor setting. So the game will start off the teacher, all students and the teacher will start off in the middle. There will be four corners. The teacher will then represent um, she will say a question and she'll represent each corner to the answer. So students will then run off into which corner they think is the correct answer. We'll have examples of how the game is played and how and what questions will be involved. Once the game is being played, we'll then have a brief discussion on what discrimination is, what the students' thoughts were on discrimination, and how else it could be played. So the questions are how often do you witness cultural and or religious discrimination at school. The second question is, have you ever experienced cultural discrimination at school yourself? Who receives high level of discrimination and why do they think this? Do you think that people from a Western cultural will do better than others? Also, why do you think this? Other questions are, what form of discrimination do you often see within the school? Do students feel uncomfortable when people do practice their cultural religious beliefs in school? and are you stereotyped yourself due to your cultural and religious beliefs? Before we show an example of how to play the game, we will just explain why we chose these questions. Um, yes. For the first question, we chose it because it talks, uh, it's going to test their understanding of the frequency of discrimination in school setting, which is our first objective. And the second one is about um, their personal belief on the awareness of discrimination in the school setting. And the first one is about, also it's about their personal beliefs. It's the personal beliefs uh, towards the people from different religious backgrounds. And the first one, you know, is about the reasons why they have this belief. And the first and the fifth one is about their, their beliefs or attitudes towards people from different culture, uh, different culture background. And also the sixth one is about the reason. And all of the others, um, the, self, um, the seventh one is about also about the frequency, um, and the eighth and the ninth one is about their personal beliefs and awareness of these issues in the school setting. And Jordan will give you an example of how this game is to be played. Okay, so we have a a little example of it. So as we were saying before, teachers and students will start in the center of the four corners. The teacher will start off with a question. So we'll go with the first question, how often do you witness cultural and or religious discrimination at school? Teacher will allocate the four corners of what the answers may be and students will then run off. So the first one in the blue corner can be zero. The second one in the red corner can be one to three times per week. The orange corner can be four to six times per week and the green corner can be seven, seven or more times per week. Students run off into the corner, teacher will bring them back in, repeat another question. Once questions are all done, as I said, there will be a summary on the thoughts of discrimination and what the answers were, and teacher will elaborate on that. Thank you. 